looking for consistent calls in the mortgage game, Core Mortgage is here to guide your path to home ownership. Their experienced team will lead you through every step, making sure there are no files in your mortgage journey. With great rates and no hidden penalties, Core Mortgage keeps the game honest and transparent. Get a slam dunk deal on your dream home with Core Mortgage. From first time home buyers to seasoned players, Core Mortgage is the trusted team for all your mortgage needs. Get in the game. Call Core Mortgage today for the best mortgage deals. Welcome to another episode of Ball in the VA. And today, man, we got some game referee officials today, man. And um, it's one of my idea, as always, I give in the flowers are giving business. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is what we do here at Ball in the VA. But um, I got my man Kelvin Oliver from Core Mortgage. I got Mr. Allen Lewis, and I got my man Stacy Golden Senior that I've known probably for thirty years in my King's Dominion days. Yes, but yes. It, it was. Good old it, days. But I want to give him his flowers, man, because I want to let him tell a story of how we came about with this podcast, and then we'll go into the recruitment part with Mr. Lewis and, and Mr. Oliver. Okay. Well, basically, um, this idea for this podcast was born of um, myself um, coming up to. Larry at the Mature Man Adult Basketball League that I played in last fall. Mm -hmm. And um, I just said, you know, hey, you ever thought about doing a podcast on officials? You know, you have different various podcasts with the players and the coaches and things of that nature. You know, why not do one about the officials just to get that different perspective of the game of basketball, you know, in terms of rules and you know, different nuances of the game. Um, I think it was a good idea, and he received it, thought about it, and um, gave me a call, you know, a couple months later, and now we're here today. Yeah, man, see, you know, I, I'm a little slow, I tell people. Slow, <laughs> people come at me all types of types of yeah. ideas, man, and I, like, have to sit there, and I just have to process stuff. You know, same thing when I, I met Kelvin and stuff is how, you know, him watching the episode with Tyree and Weezer giving me a call one late night, and I'm trying to figure out, like, who, what? I, I, don't, I don't know him, but I, I you know. <laughs> and everything like that. But before we get started, before we go into that, I'm gonna make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe, you know, uh, get, for to get these notifications, because this is how we pay the bills in here, y'all. I need y'all to comment. <laughs> I keep telling y'all, I need y'all to comment. I'm gonna stop having podcasts, and y'all gonna have some issues with that. So if y'all can't comment, like, subscribe, man, the more said media, ball and VA, please. That's how we keep the um, thing going over here. Yes. But gentlemen, how y'all doing today? Hey, Good man, all is Glad well, man. Here. Fresh yeah. off the court, yeah. <laughs> fresh, fresh off the, AC, fresh off the court, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, man. Never and stops. It's crazy. Like I have a story for like all three of these guys. Like I just met, I just met Mr. Lewis, and we well, I was going to what game? The Hampton and Captain Girls game. State, yep. State, state finals. State mm -hmm. finals, and then it was uh, Verona. Yep. Verona was playing yep. afterwards, yep. and it was crazy. I had no voice. I can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Big as my mouth is, <laughs> sinus is, won't know COVID. And Zach, um, Zach Branch, yep. walks up to me, hey, man, you need to get him on your show. And I'm sitting up here like, what's up, Zach? Bro? How you doing? No, none of that. Shout out to Zach. Shout out to Zach. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, um, huh, what, 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 what? And then he was like, um, yeah, man, you need to get him on your show. I'm trying to hook you up. And I'm like, <laughs> that's him. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Like, wait a minute, man. Like, I'm just coming up here to go watch a game, man. I'm like, all right, you know, I just want to go sit down, you know. Right. And then, like I said, you know, he introduced me to Mr. Lewis, man. We had a brief conversation, and I gave him a call, and I said, you know what, that I thought was interesting because Stacy had already brought the idea to me, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay. And then I called Kelvin, and Kelvin said immediately, he said, no, nah, I'm down, you know. So, um, and we all here, man. So just want to let everybody know, you know, I don't come up with this stuff. Like, you know, again, this is why I give the flowers to these gentlemen. But yeah, um, the world of referee, uh, Mr. Lewis, you want to talk about the recruitment in the shortage? Oh, Could you go into sure, that, please? Sure. Well, it's it's a national shortage of mm -hmm. not just basketball officials, mm -hmm. but of all kinds of officials. Okay. Um, but specifically for us, we are in need of basketball officials um you know it's no one that fits the specific uh description but if you show an interest 
um, and you're willing to actually come out there and learn and mm-hmm. take a little heat, mm-hmm. um, it's it's a good opportunity for people, um, and it, it is challenging. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think it uh, for a lot of people it calms them down. <laughs> for a lot of people, you know, it's this. You know, believe it or not, I have, have people. Um, it's their safe space out okay. here on the basketball court. One hundred percent. That's the sanctuary. Um, for sure. Our mm-hmm. um, our league, our board has about right now. We have about two hundred officials. Okay. We lost a third of our officials from COVID. We was well over three hundred. Wow. Um, and so mm-hmm. we 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 need to fill those fill those shoes, um, and I, we need to introduce it to as many. I say young people because we are trying to lower our median age because, you know, yeah. at, at some point, Calvin and Stacy and I are going yeah. to be like, that's that's going to be my last game. Yeah. Last game. <laughs> On the other side of things, yeah. <laughs> that's going to be my last one. Mm-hmm. So what would be the pushback? Because, you know, a lot of times, man, you know them referees, they get it bad. Man. Y'all get it bad, <laughs> man. I'm telling you. Yeah. I mean, you get it worse from the parents that don't know nothing. Uh yeah. They just mad because little Timmy and little Sarah or whoever it is ain't getting their way, getting their shot blocked. They thought it was a foul and all of that other stuff. That's just the surface of it. But can all three of you guys give a detail, Kevin? We'll start with you. Just okay. give a detail in regards to, you know, what would be the pushback or just the whole – just give a like a summary of, of what you guys actually do. Yeah, I think you hit it. So, obviously, the thing that most people think about when it comes to refs – You get yelled at, and and that is true, Mm -hmm. um, from people who have great knowledge of the game and from people who don't know anything. It doesn't (laughs) matter. People see those stripes. They think they have a license to say what they want, when they want, how they want, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to deal with that. I think one of the things, though, that people fail to realize with refereeing, and you mentioned it. So for me, refereeing is my going to the bar or Mm -hmm. going to the club. It's my way to get away from you know, everyday grind of life. Mm -hmm. But unlike going to the bar, my liver stays intact. (laughs) I get some cardio in and they pay me a couple dollars to do so, right? right? So you get some some benefits from that. Right. One of the things though, I would say is in terms of me being a business owner, one of the things that refereeing can help you with are your communication skills, right? And it can also help you with, you know, being a team, having getting some leadership skills and that sort of thing. But I use my referee communication skills every day in business. And I don't think that we do a great job when we're, we are recruiting people, mm-hmm. you know, of telling them that, yes, you can make a little money, all of those things. But these are things that you can apply in other facets of your life, whether it's just a relationship, whether it's business, all of the above. And I think we need to do a better job of getting that message out to people and hopefully that can help to attract some people. Okay, Stakes, what you think, man? Well, I think, you know, you know, refereeing for me is just, you know, my give back, you know, service in the game. Um, it's also, you know, part-time employment, um, which you can use to do things you need need to do in your everyday life. But mm-hmm. I think the most important thing is, you know, we used the word sanctuary earlier. Okay. It's my sanctuary and my safe space, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I still play, you know, in two men's leagues, as you already know. And, mm-hmm. you know, being on the other side, being an official is just a way of, you know, getting more in touch with that other side of the game, the rules and the little nuances that, you know, like you say, parents – they gonna complain. They gonna, <laughs> oh, it's a three seconds. But little do they know that every time a shot, a, n- a new shot goes up, the count starts over. Mm-hmm. So it's just the little things like that that you learn. Learn your patience, and you can apply it to your everyday life. And I think that um, this new generation coming out needs to start to take more interest in it. And if not, it's gonna continue to be a shortage, man. You know, it's 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 really bad. Wow. It's really bad. Mr. Lewis. Yeah, I, you know, one of my <laughs> biggest hurdles is. Uh, Money, you know, yeah. you know, for what you go through mm-hmm. to be on the floor and participate and try to make a better atmosphere for the student, <laughs> you don't get enough financial support. Yeah. Um, I will say we have everybody from college and high school students mm-hmm. to business owners. Mm-hmm. to um, surgeons, mm-hmm. to attorneys mm-hmm. on our board. Really? Mm-hmm. Hey, we, we we are a full-spectrum board. Um, I do get, you know, it irritates me a little bit when somebody say it, it's a it's a black 
black board, a black <laughs> officials board. I'm like, really? That, wow. that, that, that drive me crazy. Wow. So, you know, uh, but your original question is, it's, it's finance. People don't understand that accepting that amount can eventually raise. And there are opportunities okay. for you to go to the next level and, and, mm-hmm. and make more okay. money. But you got to start. And the starting pay is not necessarily <laughs> what people want it to be. Mm. <laughs> got to work your way up. Yeah, so just like anything else, man, you, you start something at, you know, ground level and you have to, you know, work your way up. How do you, what will be the requirements? Or just to say, like, are you guys uh, judged or what's the word I'm looking for? Evaluated. Uh, evaluated. Yeah. There we go. Um and how often are you guys evaluated in order to like move up? I guess what starting off like, do you guys start like little league? Then you kind of work up to levels like that, or they just put you once you're done training, they put you wherever they feel you see fit. So um, for high school, okay, uh, and I'll speak for that one. Um, we go through a training class. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's approximately ten weeks of training class. Okay, without anybody else. And, you know, no mamas or anything plus that. <laughs> uh, but that, that takes you through your book work. Um, it starts you on your mechanics. And um, and then we start you on the floor. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, that'll prepare you for, I'll say, your lower level game. That'll prepare you for your lower level game. And then from there, we w- what I do is I put people in what we call pods. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, that gives you a support group. For you to continue to grow. Mm. Now, when I first came in, I, I started with little girls, um, and but I had to work eight. Well, I didn't have to work, but I worked eight to ten games a day with with little girls. I don't know if people will do that today. That was you know twenty five years ago. <laughs> you know, I, that's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> I, that was a lot. That's how I started. Right. right. Um, and then I started doing some adult league. And, and, you know, I seen days and I look back, I was like, you was crazy. I would do eight or nine games of little girls then go get some lunch. Then I'd go over Richmond Christensen mm-hmm. and do adult league all mm-hmm. on Saturday. Wow. I remember doing 14 games on a Saturday. Saturday. Mm-hmm. Just insane amounts Dang, of games. That's and the lot. money was a lot less back then. Yeah. 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 But <laughs> that was because I wanted to understand how all of it was right, working right. And I, I wanted to you know be ready mm-hmm. um, and and trust me little girls little boys it doesn't matter everybody's yelling at you like you reffing lebron james so <laughs> right, it doesn't right, matter right, what you're right, right. that yelling right. that yelling is the same it's right the same. Yes. so <laughs> let me ask you a question stacy how long have you been in it refereeing uh, I started um, back in 2004. Okay. Um, one of my mentors, um, the late, um, great Steve McCoy, rest in peace. Um, yes, sir. He Steve started McCoy. me in 2004. Um, he just threw me in the fire. You know, he <laughs> said, I went to this adult league out in Chesterfield, and then from on Friday nights, and then from there, I was doing tournaments at the old U turn, and mm-hmm. then the new U turn opened up. I was over there with him and Mr. Von Quash, and I say I did that for like maybe three or four years, and then 2008 came around. I started out with well, they're now a defunct organization, Tri City Officials, and I was there from 2008 to like 2017 or 18, and now I'm with Gloucester Officials down the 757 area. So um, I've been doing it all together. I'm gonna say right around 15 plus years. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, this is this is what I say. So at one point, the Stacy and I met each other actually playing ball, yeah. and I mean this playing outside in the yeah. park, Rockwood. Wow. Yeah. So oh, Stacy yeah. and I have known each other yeah. for a long time. Long time. So when I was still playing, I was refereeing, but mm-hmm. guy named Ray Bullock. So everybody sure. knows Ray Bullock. Yeah. Ray told me Senior. one time, Ray, Ray Senior, Senior said, <laughs> "Man, you you can't ever be a good referee," and I said. What, what you mean? He said, because you still like playing too much. Oh. And I didn't understand what he meant at the time, but mm-hmm. later on, it clicked. I'm like, he was right. Okay. So I don't count the time that I refereed and I was still playing. Play it. Okay. Yeah. So if we take that away, I stopped playing in competitive adult leagues, like in my eh, early 40s. So I'm going to say 10 years seriously. Okay. Yeah. 
So that okay. that's how I look at it. Okay, Mr. Yeah. Lewis. Uh, I've been refereeing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna safely say 25 years. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. and I did it to fill some time. You know, I, you know, at the time I was like doing seven to three thirty, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I would usually leave and and go out to Rockwood, and then we, you know, we may have a drink. Or, you know, it was just I was feeling like I was wasting my time, <laughs> so I was like, let's let's feel this. You right. know, when the opportunity came, Ray, I forgot how I met Ray. Oh, I met Ray through through a young lady, somebody he was talking to or something, mm -hmm. and he was like. Come on, let's let me get you on the floor, man. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I, we can make this work. So as you can see, everybody has a Ray Bullock story, for sure, man. Yeah. For sure. I, I, yes. well, that, well, let's Shout say. out though, because he's yeah. been around yeah. for a long, Great long time. Great training. Great training. And the, right, the best training that yeah. you can get. Definitely, I, I, it I ain't see. easy. You got <laughs> fifty right. some years of experience between you guys, <laughs> these three. I, that's that's a lot, man. Mm -hmm. That that's a lot. What are some of the like? Um, challenges like travel you know we can talk about like the crowds and stuff like that but the people i mean that's that's what it is like um how many you say i just y'all just mentioned eight to nine games a game how far do you guys travel as far as like do y'all just state officials or do y'all travel like so, beyond through other states? So, so I'll, I'll, I'll start. <laughs> I mean, i'm trying right. to yeah, you do it. I, 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 yeah i don't right. mm -hmm. so Back when I was doing a lot of AAU games, mm -hmm. it was everything from Atlanta mm -hmm. to, for me, Philadelphia, and yeah. everywhere in between. So DC, Baltimore, you name it. I mean, we were all up and down wow. the East so Coast. Once you in yeah. referee, you can go to any state you got. Any yeah. state, yeah. Myrtle yeah. Beach. They all wow. Yeah. Okay. They all I, I know you said now, shit, but I didn't know if it like each. Rules are different each day, or something like that. No, so I'm, I'm being educated here, today right? Too. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, of course, high school we have the largest board in Virginia, I believe. Okay. And so, you may be anywhere from the North Carolina border all the way up to Fredericksburg, mm -hmm. and then the Northern Neck um, area, obviously, the Richmond metropolitan area. So, we cover a lot of ground, right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, I've been fortunate enough to do some small college, and so I'm anywhere from North Carolina up to Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. um, so it it can get taxing in terms of the travel. Mm. Yep. Any y'all? Oh have yeah, any I, go ahead. Uh, like I said, when we were when I first started, I was you know constantly yeah. D.C., Philadelphia, wherever they were having. A case, I mean, a showcase or, or a tournament or mm -hmm. w whatever. We, we was there. We were there, trying to work, work as much as I as I could. Young and dumb. Young, and young and dumb. dumb. <laughs> just okay. in and everywhere. Yeah. 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 Now, was the benefit of getting these places for free? Was that the benefit, <laughs> like some of these games and stuff? Oh. Like you could, you could be like, okay, man, I want to go to that whiff game tonight. I'm referee that game, you know. Uh, I guess the hardest part for me would be, I know I couldn't be a referee because I'm too busy watching the game. That would be my. Delight. Well, I'm, I'll tell you a funny story, like so I can remember officiating for the first time, right? And you actually get a whistle and you go <laughs> out there, been playing basketball all your life, right? Mm -hmm. You actually see something on the court, and in your mind, you're like, dang, you just traveled. You're supposed to blow your whistle. Then right, you gotta right. make a mm -hmm. <laughs> But when you get out there, you've never looked at the game that like way. That way. And so right. it's little small things that people don't even take into consideration. You see something, but then there's a series of events that you have to do after that, right? Dude. You know, so I can remember that. And now as you become more mature in the game, you look back and you're like, how did I even do that? Because I didn't know what I was doing. Like, you look back and realize yeah. it now. I'm just going mm -hmm. out there based on what I know. Mm -hmm. And the unfortunate thing, or fortunate, however you want to look at it, is someone who has never had to pick up the whistle has that same mindset. Mm -hmm. How hard can that be, right? I've been right. playing basketball right. all my life. Just call mm -hmm. it that way. The funny thing is, I have teams that I like to root for. Right. And I have to make sure that my son, I don't get into that See, mentality, I, it, right? That was another question. Making that transition. Yeah, yeah. And you have yeah. to make the transition and really look at it from a non-biased perspective, mm -hmm. right? But everybody's biased. I'm right. either biased Everybody for my is. children, right. I'm biased mm -hmm. for the team I'm rooting yep. for, I'm biased at this stage 
on the team that I'm betting on, right? Everybody has some sort of bias, right? Yeah. He should and keep it at 100. Yeah, I'm just, you know, it is what it is. And so they're always going to have a slanted view when something goes against their team. And, and, and I know these guys can uh, yeah. attest to this. Definitely. Whenever a coach or a fan or even a player says, great call, you know it's coming. <laughs> if, if you think, Brad, if you, think you want to pat what yourself on the back, Snake. just wait. Mm. Right. Because as soon as a call goes against them, you're going to be the worst official yep. ever. Yep. Yes. It's coming. Yep. yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is, definitely. <laughs> so, for uh, like, okay, let, let's get into that since we okay. on that part. Okay. Mm-hmm. How many, I'm going to ask you a question. How many times have y'all been, like, like cursed out by a referee? I mean, by a coach. Like, uh, like I mean, you see a lot of tirades. Some of these coaches, like, they, like you said, I seen. By the fact, I watched the John Marshall game, <laughs> like, thrown, and that guy was like so cool, and he was like being a referee friend. And then as soon as, and it wasn't John Marshall; it was the opposite team. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then, then the guy, all of a sudden, he started getting out right because the calls won't go on his way. But as long as everything was cool, everything was all right. Stacy. Right. Come on, man. Help me help. <laughs> well, I mean, that's that whole, you know, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde thing. You know, like you said, if things is going good for that team, mm-hmm. you can make two, three calls that way. Oh, good call, Ralph. You make that fourth call and it's mm-hmm. not good. Oh, that was a horrible call. Da, 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 da. And then you got to be like, hey, that's enough, coach. You know, mm-hmm. you got to give them that warning, warning, you know, calm them down a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I just tell people, you know, you just have to – Rough the game with a, you know, neutral and unbiased mindset and just, you know, focus on your primary coverage area and just call what you see, you know, um, transitioning from, you know, the playing side to the roughing side, like, mm-hmm. you know, to piggyback off what Kelvin said, you can kind of get caught up as a fan a little bit and mm-hmm. like, oh, man, he traveled all oh, this, you know, and critiquing things. But you just got to remember, you know, blow your whistle, you know, be patient. Let plays start, develop, mm-hmm. finish. You have a whistle, and just report. You know your violation or your foul to the table, and just you know keep it moving. And uh, the first thing I like to remind people of is all of these officials just human. Right, right, human. right, right, right. right. I, not I, machines. Yeah, <laughs> I referee because I like basketball. Okay, Love and it, yeah. with that being said, when I see somebody go in and do their thing. And, and make that thing like make the rim shake. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Yeah, we we, we still fans. Now. <laughs> I know, yeah. Yeah. We, we still I know fans. y'all be like, yeah. Oh, oh, you know, oh yeah, I had it with yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, whoa, yeah. 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 I had someone turn around, be like, <laughs> like yeah. you know, yeah. that was a hell of a play. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Not we, only uh-huh. that, I listen. If they say run four low, mm-hmm. and I know who coming off the back screen, right, right. I'm like here we go, here we go. It helps me know where to be. Absolutely. And it helps and keeps me engaged mm-hmm. yeah because one thing i can't do is i you know i was losing focus when i was younger i, I mean when i say younger and officiating mm-hmm. things would be moving with little girls there ain't as many rotations and things right like that. so you got to right. do things and be like okay she been she been running this pick she coming off the screen she gonna shoot mm. you know it's just things like that as you go along you kind of program yourself and you enjoy the process Okay. Mm-hmm. Larry, if I can piggyback off of what Aaron said, too, I think something else that the general public fails to realize, I think a lot of people think there's a game, we just show up, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what they don't realize is in the off season we are doing tutoring. Okay. We watch film just mm-hmm. like teams watch film, right? right? Yes. So we can look for teams' tendencies, the plays they run. Mm-hmm. And truth be told, we also like to know who are our problem children in the game, right? right. There are yeah. certain players right. that, you know, hey, keep your eye on him, mm-hmm. keep your eye on this young yeah, man, et cetera. Too. Right. Mm-hmm. We're watching film to end the, the, one of the best tools that you can use to try and get better is watch film of yourself. Yes. Right? Oh. Because we all have egos, right? And you think, man, I know I'm out there looking sweet until you see yourself. You're like, ooh, mm-hmm. that's how I look? It's hard ooh, watching That's yourself. what my mechanic mm-hmm. looks oh, yeah. like? I need to get that mm-hmm. together. Remember this, too. Every year we get older, mm-hmm. the kids stay the same age. <laughs> so right. we are down at the river <laughs> walking, jogging, running, right. going to right. the gym, et cetera, right? Right. right. Yeah. These kids can get up and down the court, right? Mm -hmm. So half the people that are yelling at us, in my mind, being honest, 
I never say anything to the fans, but in my mind, like, man, you couldn't even run up and down the court, much well, less, right, you know, right. exactly. because Don't we know, know what we put into it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's honestly for the love of the yes. game. I know it is for me. Okay. I yes. am a basketball junkie, <laughs> right? Yes. I love the sneakers squealing. <laughs> I love the smell of the gym. I, man, all that. Yeah. And so that part of it keeps me going. But the other thing is, too, it's just like when you're playing and you have the camaraderie with your teammates or what have you, mm -hmm. the guys and ladies that I referee with, mm -hmm. Man, that camaraderie, you on those yeah. road trips, you talking yeah. about basketball, yeah, talking about oh, yeah. life, talking about and so they end up becoming some of your best friends. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. so y'all so y'all can pick y'all people who y'all want to ref with every week, or do y'all get do like, is there a pool or like, okay, let me make sure make let me stop yeah. kind of doing that. The head official, that would uh, other department, that would be you, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, do you assign, like, say, I want Stacy, Kelvin, and Zach together, or how does that work? I, I assign everybody. And, okay. And, um, and I tell people this all the time. I put these groups together to, so everybody can get something out of it. Okay. Some nights you are being taught, and some nights you are the teacher. Mm -hmm. But it's up to you to figure out where you fit in that night. <laughs> oh, so y'all talking about so, say, okay, so you one. have to understand that we only as good or as strong as our weakest official. Mm -hmm. So some nights you are teaching and helping bringing somebody along. Other nights you get to work with some veterans that you just need to see how they handle, mm -hmm. how they engage mm -hmm. um, people, and how they talk to the kids. Um, and and it's it it is. Honestly, some of the tasks they like when I when I took over, it seemed to me that a lot of the same people kind of worked together, but that really wasn't helping the association. Right. We needed we needed some of our younger officials exposed to see if they was ready. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And I can I can expose them safely with some veterans. Mm. I can't put three rookies. Out on a game that's gonna be right. That, that'll be a disaster. Right. Recipe for disaster. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I remember uh, when I first got into coaching in uh, probably 2008 when I got to coach with uh, Gene Atkins from Henrico. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Legend. You was telling me. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, my God. oh gosh. Boy, 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 boy. I love. I love that woman. I love that woman. Uh, challenging. It, it well, it was, but it wasn't. Like okay. for me, I I just kind of whatever. It's her show. Mm -hmm. She gonna let yeah. you know, coach. You know, coach. I want this. She wants us to look a certain way. She wants. She she has her ground rules. Mm -hmm. So she wants us to have the same pants, same shirt. She gonna be different from us. She want everybody that's the same. She wants us to walk in the same. She wants us to have this. The back got to be on your right shoulder, not on your left shoulder. She she she's okay. very very detailed. But sitting at the game. And she said, all right, all right, coach, we got to come in here. We got to see who these referees are. <laughs> and she knew everybody. Oh, he terrible. He terrible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's my boy right here. We, we good. We good. So right. we get into a tight game. We good right here. Mm -hmm. and then she'll go tell the kids, look, I don't know none of these referees right here. But y'all got to play. And if y'all don't play, I can't bail y'all because I don't know none of them. Yeah. And I'm like, that's so. Her. <laughs> Right. I, I mean, hey. maybe I'm telling some secrets, but that's what yeah. she used to do. Yeah. So yeah. that was the beauty of it. You know what? I, even though some of the stuff was crazy that she said, <laughs> mm -hmm. I got to give it to her. When I was coming along, she at least knew the, the rules. She, and I, she, I oh, she knew say, the rules. Yeah, I definitely. don't say that to slight people. Right. But some people, a coaches in that position, mm -hmm. don't really understand or know the rules. Facts. Right. Y'all can say that. Now, and I want y'all to get loose now. So I want y'all to don't, don't hold back now. Yeah. You know, right. We don't have to say names, but just I, I yeah, need to hear yeah, this. Yeah. You know, yeah. to, to kind of go now, into that. I'll tell you that when we when I was coming up, I went to games as I was coming along and officiating. Okay. Um, and I specifically went to different style coaches. Okay. Because I needed to know if I could handle it. Mm -hmm. That's just me now. Okay. Yeah. Like I, I, I like to see a, a, a Mr. Lancaster, Coach Lancaster. Right, right, yes. right. Legend. You know, right. Yes. You know, he, he go from being on a knee, knee. calm and composed, <laughs> to 
Mr. Lewis. <laughs> yep, yep, and mm-hmm. yep. Just like that. Right. It was a, a guy down at Lancaster. I used to think he was, um, <laughs> he used to sweep his hair back. Uh, I, I, I can't think of his name, but he was the coolest coach ever. Mm-hmm. Until we got down to the last two minutes. <laughs> and he would just lose his mind. And it was okay, but that was his style. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I used to call him Pat Riley. I, I don't even know the man's real name. <laughs> right. But he would He'll coach the whole game. And then if it's if it's close at all at the end, he just kind of just poof. And I'm like, come on, man. You've been cool the whole game. Yeah, right. The whole time. But you have to understand what it means to the coaches. Mm-hmm. You know, understand the time that they put into it. Right. Mm-hmm. So that's why I say, you know, this is – we giving and taking. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we're supposed to be making it a, a great experience for the kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, sometimes it don't go that way. Because it just go too far, but you know, the biggest biggest gripe I have is sometimes you you asking me about questions and rules that I think you should know. A lot of these coaches don't know is what you're saying. Right. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm good with that. I, I say that. Well, I mean, to piggyback off of that, you know, a lot of people don't know that we have to take a test once a year in high school to stay certified. And we also have to take a clinic Mm -hmm. to stay certified. Those are the prerequisites and qualifications for us to continue to do high school each and every year. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these coaches, well, I know the ones on the rec level don't do (laughs) anything. Clinics, don't look at video, anything like that. But the (laughs) ones in high school, right, you two coach, the ones in high school are required to have a representative from their team attend the clinic. I know this past year, was the first time, I guess, since pre-COVID that they had um, in-person clinics right. at, you know, it's at one of the, which whichever site, I went to one at Cortland High School this past season, and um, it was representatives from different high schools for their teams at the clinic, and these are things that we have to stay sharp on, and I feel that coaches and the YouTube coaches and rec, daddy coaches included, need to do that and I don't have a problem with questions or complaints, but know what you're talking about, know what you're complaining about, be knowledgeable, because we have to be. Right. You know, right. you can't hold me to a stand of accountability that you don't have no knowledge of. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of things, believe it or not, with rules, you can Google stuff with, with basketball, yeah. fish shape, and you can Google things, tests included, and, you know, it keeps you in tune and intact with what's going on. So The other scary thing yeah. with, with- – some coaches, and I say this, and I, I kind of generalize, but they know rules, but they think it only applied to the opponent. <laughs> right. <laughs> One side. Touche. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, boy. Crazy. Crazy. So, I mean, it, we get, I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's I love spectrum. it, y'all. This hey, is hey, look, hey, look, let me, let me, let me chime in just a little bit. <laughs> so I don't want, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want this to be like we're bashing coaches, oh, no, right? No, 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 wait, no, wait, no, wait a minute. But, but they get up but, here, but all of that, all of all of that is very <laughs> true. I think <laughs> too, though, that That's just good. like in life, Thank you. everything is about relationships, right? Right. Sure. Mm-hmm. And so I think one of the things that, in my opinion, a good coach is able to do is they're able to compartmentalize, right? right. You know, next play. And I don't need to argue every single call because at mm-hmm. that point, I can tell you as a referee, if you're complaining about everything, at some point I have to tune you out, right? right? right. So yeah. now when it's something important, I've tuned you out. I've tuned you out. Right? So, okay. Right. Y'all, y'all getting this, right? right? It goes against. <laughs> now, to me, the good coaches, and I'll give an example since he's not coaching anymore. I thought Vance Harmon, when he was at Henrico, was one of the best coaches in no terms question. of knowing how to work us. Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah. It's the first quarter. Ball goes out of bounds. And right. he's not going to argue that. Right. But now, because he didn't argue that, 
he's built up credibility. <laughs> right. Now right. the fourth quarter, okay. right? Yeah, right? Yeah. And it's 40 seconds left. He now, argue that one. but when you hear from him, you know he's not somebody that is just arguing every single call. So guess what? When he says something, you listen. Okay. Right. Master at working the refs. And he was a good coach as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. But that's an example. Like and there are a yeah. bunch of really good oh, coaches great in the coaches. area. Don't, yeah, please and, don't. And I'll be <laughs> honest with you. Mm-hmm. I feel like I have good, at least decent relationships. Like, there for me, there's not a coach that I'm like, you know what? I just don't like that coach. I, you know what's going to be one of my other There's questions. not I'm glad one. You put that out now, now, you now that. they may not like me, right? Right, right. right but right. there's not one coach <laughs> right. that I'm just like, you know what? I can't stand going. I, here. I don't want I, that game. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> not yeah, at all. I don't yeah. want that but, game. But y'all do that, though, right? I mean, I mean, in your, I guess I don't want to put you. If you don't, don't, you don't answer it. If you want to do that, but, okay. no. but I know in the back of your mind, you're like, oh, you know, because that's some things. I, I honestly don't don't feel okay. that way. I, I'm gonna interject on this. Probably in my younger days when I first started, mm-hmm. I may not have won that smoke. But then after a while, I said, you know what? No, nah, I want that game because that's gonna help you with your game as an official, as far as game management, your mechanics, and your skill set. Because we have skill set too. Just like players do, you know, they go in the lab and, you know, work on their game. That's for us to work on our game as well. And also the AAU and the rec levels help you with that as well Mm -hmm. as far as your game management and your patience and your demeanor on the floor. And it only carries you a long way the more that you work on your craft. So I think that's Mm -hmm. a good thing. It's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. I I like the way you wrote it. Mr. Lewis, you was going to say something? Well, I, I just say I don't. I, I know a coaches evaluate officials throughout mm-hmm. the game. Some of them even bring, you know, whatever thoughts they have from a previous game. Mm-hmm. And it and I can't stop that and I can't stop officials from knowing if a coach went crazy the night before. <laughs> so again, this is all these are all things uh, a dichotomy of the fo- Everything we deal with, all of the everybody got to come together. Mm-hmm. If you, my trainer said, if I'm having a bad day from work, it should never right. show up on, on the, court. the court. Right, right. But again, we dealing with humans. Right. Some people don't know how to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He might have had a bad night with his wife, or you know, yeah. and yeah. now he got to co- he got to coach his game. The kids ain't following instructions. Yep. And some. Yeah. We get that. Yeah. yeah. And kids have bad and kids have days, bad too. Days. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. we even got to them. And, and one of the things, too, I will say about the kids, I'm just big on this, right? I know that we're the adults, but I think that we owe it to the game. As an official, you cannot disrespect a kid. Because mm-hmm. think about when you were 16, 17. Exactly. What's the worst thing that could happen is you to get disrespected in front of your peers, right? Right, right. Mm-hmm. right. And That's so sure. yeah. I think some of it, What's we can point? help ourselves, right? So you generally, you know who the leader of that team is, right? It may be the best player, but in some cases it's, it's not. not. <laughs> but you know who the leader is. Mm-hmm. Pre-game, layup line, A, 21. If I have any problems at night, you, you can help me, right? Um, okay. I, saw, I saw you had 17 the other night. Man, good job. Right? You can build up some goodwill and some equity with the leaders and the guys that the rest of the people will listen to. So now, temperature rises, crowd's going crazy. Hey, my man, can you get to number four for me? He getting a little, I got, I got you, ref, I got you. This is hey, like good stuff right here. This right, good, and man. so communication skills, again, translates, and you have to use that. And sometimes you can go to the coach. Sometimes it may be one of the assistant coaches, right? right. Somebody that mm-hmm. maybe you played ball with back in the day. Yeah. Hey, I got you, yeah. right? Yeah. So you have to use the tools and not just be – the guy that's just giving out text every five seconds. You can use your voice. You can talk to mm-hmm. – right. Now, there is a line. Okay. And when you cross the line, I mean, you cross the line. Right. But most veteran officials have taught me most technicals will call themselves. Okay. Yeah. Right? Right. You don't have to go looking for it. Okay. You don't have to bait a coach or a player into it. Mm-hmm. If it's going to happen, let it call itself. Let it build and up. And sometimes you can diffuse things. You can mm-hmm. talk players out of things. Mm-hmm. Hands. I didn't 
I didn't coach the player. I, mm-hmm. Most times, if I'm hand checked, right, or I'm hands, they they know what that means. Right. Get your hands off of them, so right. I don't have to call the foul. So you don't have to go to the bench. So your coach doesn't have to yell at me. Mm-hmm. Right. So there are little subtle nuances that you can use to help your game because the number one thing, at least for me, I go into a game, I could care less who wins. Right. We're not going to be a fight. Not in my game. <laughs> right. 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 You can fight yesterday. You can fight them. Not, not, not tonight. Not in this game. But it happens. Right. Not, it, it happens, right? Yeah, it does. It does. It does. It but does. I'm going in with that mindset of I don't care what the lady in the third row said or the dude right. in the eighth row. I'm no fighting in my game. Right. I need to keep control. So I'm going in with that mindset, that mentality. Yes. And if I can talk somebody out of something, I'm going to try to do that. That is beautiful. Anybody else want to piggyback on that? No, I mean, it's we got to – it's all about building relationships. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the coaches, as they stay around longer, mm-hmm. as the officials stay around longer, mm-hmm. they get used to seeing yep. officials. They understand how they operate, what they're going to call, and what they expect. And the comfort level for everybody just – it just rises. I mean, so that's what we we're seeking, but with the understanding, we got to keep throwing in some new people too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So everybody yeah. can keep you know growing together. So, well, you know, I'm, I got me some personal questions. Okay, um, go for it. You know, because I I've been watching these tournament games. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, yeah, but you know, but I just want you, you just your opinion. You know, okay. anyone y'all can answer it. You know, I don't want to put them on the spot. Who I feel like want to answer it. Mm-hmm. What is the about the myth about makeup calls? And I give you an example. <laughs> That's a great question. Right. Great question. Because, because we all want to know it. Because I know I do it in the stand. We be like, all right, he, he traveled. And y'all miss that. But then you get some referees, and we've seen it. The next call, he didn't travel, but you will call something else. Through, and we call it the makeup, <laughs> the makeup call. call. So yeah. give, give us some, some stuff on it. Because we all say it in the stand. So I got three referees here with over 50 okay. years experience. Help us out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start off. I'm going to just say that's a myth. Okay. Um, You know, if if your partner misses it or you miss it, you got to have next play mentality. Okay. And just reffing your primary. Now, you know, some referees you know, may fall into that if they're inexperienced, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, but your veteran officials, like, you know, these other two gentlemen to my right, we not going to do that. We're going we gonna to call what we see in our primary. We're going to have a patient whistle, and we're just going to move on next play mentality. But mm-hmm. that always has been a thing, Yeah, and it's going to continue to be a thing. Mm-hmm. But I think more so the inexperienced officials kind of fall in it or feel like they have to make that, make that call to kind of balance things out. It just out. be a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, like a, uh, it just happened. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, right. wait a minute. Come on, yeah. dog. That's yeah. okay. We all say, right. 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 Oh, he we called that because, it. you know, he missed the last one. Yeah, he missed one. the last yeah. one, I feel one, you, though. I feel well, you. Yeah, yeah, we do that a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I, would, I, I don't agree with a makeup call. Right. But I will share with you that if the board is seven fouls to one, mm-hmm. All three officials know it, so it, it it there is an unsaid pressure to be like, hey, they ain't the only ones filing, right? Right. You know, yeah. and and the worst thing that can happen is a coach come to you, it's seven to one, mm-hmm. and they do, and they all do. the time, yeah. right? Right. No, none. It's no official I know that want to hear that from anybody. Else. Right. Nor do we want to get in that situation. Okay. Real quick, just to interject, I ain't mean to interrupt. Now, I will say this, 7-1. to one. Now, if those seven fouls, if that other team is playing aggressively oh, yeah. mm-hmm. and hand-checking and being physical, then that's that, you know, that makeup stuff is out the window. But see, that leads me to my next question. Yeah. We all saw that game happen last week, right? What was it, the um – we're not talking about specific games. Okay, no, 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 but I want to. I want to. No, but, but Mr. Lewis, though, we got. Hey, this is uncut, it. so put it out there. Put it out there. Put it out there. Remember? Okay, it was uh-huh. a big dip debate all last week. Okay. Remember what game was it when the guy fouled him at the end? Right. That, okay. In the NCAA game? Mm hmm. I'm trying to remember what game it was. It was a tournament game. With the 1.2 seconds. 1.2 seconds, right? And you just don't make that call at the end because it was like. He would, oh my Can we God. start right there? Yeah. But, okay. But yeah. no matter what the referee did, if he doesn't make the call, call. you should have made the call. Right. right. When he when makes the, the call, you right. can't make that right. call. You can't make right. that right. call. Exactly. You just have to do what you feel 
is best. That's why they put you in that game. And again, right. I can't worry about what the naysayers think, say, or what have you. Just make the call. Right. If you feel like that was a call based on, like, they're not putting you in that game without any training or because you don't belong. Mm-hmm. Make the call. Mm-hmm. Right. Some people say you should have made it and you don't have the kahunas to do it. Right. right. It is. He made it. He made the call. No matter what he did, he's he's going to have detractors. So you can't win. Right. No, you it's, can't. It's, it's that it whole damn if you do, damn if you don't. I mean, it, it, was, yeah. it was Kenny Smith, but, Charles. But Bart, they couldn't oh, no. even agree. Right, right. right? They couldn't yeah. even agree. Yeah. Yeah. Clark Kellogg yeah. says yeah. it was yeah. a good call. Yeah. Charles yeah. is like, it no, wasn't. No, you so don't make that call. If, it's like, if you can't well, I got agree. Three referees, I want to know. So, so I, sorry, I, I'll tell okay, you. No. No, what I, the biggest thing I need people to understand is what it takes to even put yourself in the position to blow that whistle. Yeah. And I'll give you a prime example because I hear it all the Super Bowl and that last uh, oh, pass that interference. Pass interference, right. Mm. What? <laughs> no, look, 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 look. Oh, That's a whole boy. other sport. Right. But, but, we want, but what yeah. it takes to for someone, because I'll tell you, officials know the time on the clock, hmm. know what a team needs, mm-hmm. and they know what's about to happen most yeah. of the time. Time score situation. They know. Mm-hmm. So understanding that, that official sees a play and still puts a whistle on it. Mm-hmm. So you have to understand what kind of intestinal fortitude it yeah. takes. Because you, you know what's coming. You, you know what's know coming. You know what's coming. But you got to do believe it. You're right. 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 Gonna believe you, you right? You got to do it. But you have to understand the process of even getting somebody to the point where they would even blow the whistle in that situation. Because yep. most people <laughs> yep, don't does. have the kahunas to, to do it, which call. is why right. he was in that game he was to in that begin game with. He right. made exactly. that call. I was like, exactly. he's bold, because I'm like, mostly because now you got the social media threats and people like, okay, well, I get the threats. And, you know, back in the day, you know, like I say, you, you oh, yeah. I guess you get death threats by phone and how, how yeah. they get your phone. People I get your address, send you stuff address. in the mail. Yeah. I, you know, I'll eat your kids yeah. and all that. If I see you at the mall, it's on site. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? We, we yeah. got all this craziness, but yeah, yeah I just thought it was interesting because like I said, it was a good topic though for the yeah. week. Yep. Oh, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. because uh, I know uh, Seth Greenberg was talking about, Jay Williams was mm-hmm. talking oh, about yeah. it. And to get those guys, and those coaches and those athletes that played at that high level and coached at that high mm-hmm. level, it was great having them to debate because nobody right. really it was a consensus that hey, no, it but Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think yeah. most people said it was a foul. Wow. However, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call, call it in that, that situation. In that game. Right. You know, right. I would right. do that. Right. And, and and both sides have some merit to, yeah, to both sides. Because yeah. they was like, well, at the beginning of the game, y'all let that go. Right. Why are you gonna call it now? But Larry, answer that answer yeah. that yeah. But Larry, let me let me tell you <clears> this. Um, I know for me, if I'm going into a basketball game, right, mm-hmm. to me, I know this is probably never going to happen. Okay. But you have to take into consideration, I believe, officiating as one of the factors in the game, meaning that they just like there are going to be missed shots, mm-hmm. there are going to be missed calls. Definitely. I don't know why that's so foreign for people to understand, right? Because <laughs> human element. I don't go into yeah. a game expecting mm-hmm. that everybody is going to make every shot they take, right? Right. Why not. <laughs> so now why do you think that especially at the high school level where guys are making less than $100 a game mm-hmm. to officiate at an NBA level where that's yeah. their sole job. 500 more and times they're, more and, they're, and, they're, and they mess up too and miss travels too. <laughs> they're making yeah. hundreds of thousands of dollars yes. and you're holding them to that standard for less than $100? Yeah. I'm just saying. I, no, you, you have a valid point. Right. I, 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 so, I disagree. to me, when I go into a game, I think that, and, and I'm probably about to get on the soapbox, right? Uh-oh. But <laughs> what I'm saying is I've seen too many times where parents, we in society, mm-hmm. are always looking for a scapegoat. Well, how about this? All the time. How about you play better? Th- th- that part. Exactly. There we go. Cause See, when, now we, now I, we I can put you on the foul uh, line, but I can't make the foul shots for you. There we go. And we we <laughs> all played and Stacy at certainly a higher there level than I yeah. did. I'm going to be honest with you, Larry. I don't remember not one official's call in Mm-mm. all the years that I played basketball, right? Me neither. But I know some things that I didn't do that I could have done better. No the question. The fish is going to be what it's going to be. All right? the time. 
you have to just account for that. There are going to be missed calls. But right. how about this, too? I also know when I played, I know I fouled sometimes that right. I didn't exactly. get called for it. <laughs> right. I know right. I traveled have. sometimes You're that I didn't get called for right. it. Right, right, right. Exactly. right. So some, some of this stuff, it just has to be baked in the cake. And so for me, I know I don't worry about it too much because I know what I do. I know what my integrity level is or what have you. But <laughs> I go to family functions. I can go with People will... Stop me and like, man, that call you made. I'm like, yep. kids, adults, yep. it just it comes yeah. with the territory. Mm, definitely. Right? Yep. But I promise you this, and you can ask my wife, I have yet to lose a night's sleep over a game. Ever. <laughs> I <laughs> promise you, you can't, that. You just y- can't. Y- y'all <laughs> making it so easy for yeah. me. Because I'm like, I was going to ask y'all the next question. No, go ahead. No, yeah. I mean, that is beautiful. How, do y'all take that with home with y'all? Absolutely not. Wait, okay, Kelvin, Stacy. Um, I'm just on to the next game. Yeah. I mean, like you say, we go into these games, servicing these games, that, officiating yeah. these games with a neutral mindset. We there to, you know, manage the game, call the calls. And that's it. We don't get no high rate of pay. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna use for example, if if, if it's John Marshall George with, right. we don't get no more money if John Marshall went on the road versus home or vice versa. Mm-hmm. So you make the calls, you do what you need to do, have your business, and it's just on to the next game. It's, it's business. It's nothing personal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I'm a I'm a processor. So what I do is, after the game, I think about plays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I have a question about, you know you know, a rule or or how I could have handled, I call somebody. I, now, th- now, that is true. Yeah, right. I'll yeah. call somebody and say, hey, man, this is what we did. You want to look look at this play with me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And just tell me how you, you know, how we could have got out of it. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad you brought that up because <laughs> yeah. it's it's a, a fraternity of brotherhood. So yeah. after games, we're calling each other and before games, yeah. like, where you at tonight? Who you with? Yep. Who you yeah, got? Yeah. Text, da, 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 da. email, and or whatever. <laughs> we will also call partners to get intel on team, like scouting mm-hmm. reports. Yeah. So y'all do it too. Yeah. yeah. Do they, yeah. they press a lot. Same they thing. Da, 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 you know, so you, they help y'all kind of like have y'all. Absolutely. It helps your skill so set. Yeah, we in the, that, that's so. our moment yeah. of being in the lab. Yeah. Right. Because, yeah. Because we have relationships, and I, mm-hmm. I won't share who this is, but I, I have had coaches reach out to me and say, mm-hmm. look, they just not when I when we have my son who isn't a player drive to the hole, I feel like they just ignoring him even if it's contact. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> and, and you know so now I'm with you. I'm like okay, so let's maybe I reveal something. No no no, 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 no. listen to me. Like that. <laughs> said, let's, let's, break right. this, let's break this down. Come on, no, no, wait a minute. Come on, look, you know I'm such a savage. So, you know I can be like that, so, but I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be polite. So, yeah yeah. Your son is nice stroking, mm-hmm. knocking down threes. I should have got your drink. Now, <laughs> if he decides out of the blue mm-hmm. to drive to the hole mm-hmm. with the trees, mm-hmm. and and the trees is the trees, right? Don't look for me to bail you out now. You got to <laughs> do your thing. You got to get to the hole. You got to do your thing. Yeah. Now, pew, pew, now, pew, pew. now, yeah. again, what I said to him, hey, you want him to be considered aggressive going to the hole, right? Maybe I maybe I set up the play. The first play from the game, I'm putting him. He going back door. He getting up around that rim and maybe dunking. Mm-hmm. Now the officials are like thinking like, oh, he going to the hole tonight. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's different. Okay, but you can't. You know, it's hard. Officials study the game. Definitely. Mm-hmm. If I see now on the same thing, if I see a three pointer, you draining threes, and now all of a sudden you shoot an air ball. Right. Maybe I missed some. Right. So I mean, that's no different than if Steph Curry is out there and it's a close play. Right. And the ball is five feet short. Right. Now it could have slipped out of his hand. Right. He's probably gonna get the benefit of the, of the doubt on that. Okay. okay. Steph Curry. Right. I am so right. glad that right. y'all mm-hmm. said that. Oh, mm-hmm. Man, thank you. Yeah. This is gonna. This is be one of the best podcasts. <laughs> I'm, tell y'all, man. I'm telling you, man, because right. the, it may, these yeah. are the things I think about. Yeah. I know yeah. everybody else does, and I didn't yeah. think at y'all level. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nowhere near it. Yeah. But, I mean, if that wow. happens, um, piggybacking off of what Aaron said, right? So, I was that player, little guy going into the hole. Mm-hmm. Every time I drive, ah, like I got murdered, right? <laughs> Half the time, right. I'm not getting touched. Like but I got to the line a lot, right? Yeah. So now, remember, I was the guy that did that. Right. So, little guy, 
you probably not going to fool me with it. Right, no, I right, used yeah. to do that. Because I've been that guy. And yeah. we <laughs> are taught to referee the defender. Yeah. So you can go and contort your body and do all of that. If the defense is like this, mm -hmm. it's not a foul. And Larry, if you're playing defense mm -hmm. and I throw my body into you, yeah. mm -hmm. what did you do wrong? Mm -hmm. But 90% of the stands, that's a foul. That's a foul, right? Why? Because right. Larry was standing there and I launch my yeah. body into him. Yeah. They called him being crafty. Yeah. Yeah. You initiated the contact. You, so I initiated the contact. Yeah. If anything, the call would have to go against me, and right. a lot of people don't understand that part of it. Right. Contact, oh, that had to be a foul. Well, why? Larry didn't do anything wrong. Right. Mm. So, yeah. That is beautiful. Oh, my God. Look, you can tell I'm pa I'm getting all passionate. Yeah, I, and no, I, I love it. About those things. You know. No, because this is what we need because we have people come up here, have the players, we have the coaches to come on here, but mm -hmm. we never had referees. Good idea, Stacey. This Dang. is good. Oh, yeah. you know, Appreciate no, it, man. Great idea, man, because, yeah. again, I have to process stuff. I told you, I'm slow, so if I got some <laughs> man, stuff, slow, <laughs> you know, I got to, <laughs> like, let me, it, it may take me a little time, but when I get it, I got it. It's all learning. You know what yep. I'm saying? So that's why I said, for me, it's helping me because we talk about this stuff. I'm sure people got text message group, check group, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. all these things that you have yeah. and we talk about. So the fact that you guys are up here and giving us this information, this is mm -hmm. great. It, it, this is oh, great. Yeah. You know, I just like, what I want to say, you know, but um, the social media part of it, like I was telling y'all, y'all don't ever receive type of threats or anything like that. So I will say this, I know, I won't call his name out, but we work with a guy who has mm -hmm. done high level basketball mm -hmm. and I know that there was uh, a game that he told me about specifically mm -hmm. where he and his family received death threats after mm -hmm. a specific call um, and he said it had him rethinking like yeah, is it worth it why am I doing that um, suffice to say he's a veteran official I'm glad that he's still doing it because mm -hmm. I've learned a heck of a lot from him I personally have not received death threats um, but I did work with an official this year who told me that a parent from a girl's game followed him okay. home. Ooh. Well, luckily, the person followed him. He realized he was being followed, so he didn't go directly to his house, and they went on or what have you. The problem, the official he followed is a police officer. Oh, well, I know you were just going to say that. He unholstered his <laughs> gun. I knew you were yeah, just yeah. going to wow. say that. Wow. And That's I think, a true story. It, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And I think people need to know that cops. there are yeah. a lot of law enforcement yeah. Yeah. personnel yeah. Ex -military. In, yeah. um, in officiating. Mm -hmm. And I can recall a summer league game that I did. Mm -hmm. Won't call the young man's name out. Heck of a player. And I have a bit of a relationship with him. But he didn't like a call. And I know him. He has a bit of a temperament. Mm-hmm. And anticipating, as soon as the horn went off, he made a beeline to the official. Mm -hmm. And I ran to stop him because wow. I'm like, oop, you don't want that. Because the official he was going after is also a police officer. Yeah. And I was able to stop him and kind of defuse the, the situation. Yeah. But those types of <laughs> the things, they do happen and they have happen rather often. <clears throat> yeah. I know for me, one of the ways that, I mean, you can never be 100% on anything. But one of the reasons why I don't talk to fans is because of that. Mm -hmm. You know, generally, you suck, Raph, you suck, doesn't have somebody following you, generally, right? right. Mm -hmm. But now if you engage them, right. which is up, why I, I don't right. engage or what have you, because yeah. it, it's not worth all of that. Because at the end of the day, it's a game. Right, right? it's just a game. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, you know, part of the problem is, and this is just a personal thought, mm -hmm. They are asking us to do things that I feel like the administration or the coach should be taking care of. You're speaking mm -hmm. of that, that place, that facility or school. Yes, okay. yes. So a referee, I don't think a referee should have to tell your player to get dressed. I don't think that's our thing. Mm -hmm. This year, brand new this year, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> we they in they installed a rule mm -hmm. that said any kind of racial slur, epithet, Ooh. anything, yeah. the official. We, you have to make the call. We gotta if we hear it, 
we supposed to penalize. Mm-hmm. The first, the first violation of this game, of that specific rule, mm-hmm. I get a phone call. This is from somebody that's in in a in a role. He said, that's the way our kids talk to each other. Now, <laughs> why, why is the official involved at all? And then why is the athletic director defending the way the, they the way they talk the way to each they other. talk lingo in the culture other. that's not right <laughs> so why are we dealing with that right yeah y'all shouldn't have to deal yeah, with that. we shouldn't have to do that it's and, not our job and can i, I yeah. throw one so yeah. i'm officiating a game and wow. i hear uh, a word that should not be used we'll just leave it at that but it's coming from the crowd but it's coming from the student section mm-hmm. and i'm like did I just hear what I thought I heard? <laughs> mm-hmm. I go in at halftime and I asked my partners and one of my partners was like, man, I, I heard it. No, you, but it's 50 students. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How is this going to play out, right? So what am I, I'm going to stop the game. Mm-hmm. I don't know who yeah. said it. You don't know exactly. So right. now yeah. I'm going to go stop the game. How is that helping the game, helping me in any way, shape right. or form, right? So you're wow. asking us to do things that are beyond our scope, right? Right. Mm-hmm. right. Think about if you were a kid there and I turn around, who said it? Is somebody really Nobody going to step to the forefront and be like, hey, I said the inappropriate <laughs> thing. Yeah. And they said it to a player from the opposing team. I heard it, but I'm like, yeah, yeah. in 2023, I know they didn't just say yeah. that. You got to know exactly. Yeah. My partner imagine, confirmed. He heard it as well. Right. Wow. So now imagine how me saying your two players are calling each other, let's just say the N-word. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's what I go mean. tell you as a coach, they both got to go. What that do for the rest of the game? Oh, y'all gonna have some problems. Hmm. Because not only you gonna have a problem from probably the coaching staff, it's probably gonna get popped with parents. The parents. And and, and, and please, and, all these fans, don't don't think I'm I'm okay with them calling it. Right, at all. Right. At all. I'm just uh, saying right. the role of the official. Right. You yeah. guys put in a we put in that role. Now we gotta yeah. say you you gotta go. Now right. We gotta get into social issues. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. And social I found etiquette. out later it's a three game penalty for that. Yep. I was gonna say three games. Yeah. Three As games. opposed to, I hear it, wow. but and they, I'm, I'm like, cut it out. I don't want to hit. <laughs> you know, now right. we can go on. Most kids are respectful right. enough, but right. they get caught up in the habit, et cetera. Yeah, right. But like mm-hmm. he says, boom, three games yeah. in the game. Yeah. Wow. And and we become the police officers. Of, yeah, he put me yeah. out. Yeah. We're, we're the moral, moral police now. Yeah. You want to know yeah, the trip did. part? You get less for fighting. <laughs> you get a game for fighting. <laughs> That's it? That's it. One. For throwing so the I'm punch. Better off, I'm better off hitting you than calling you yeah, a name. I'm better off throwing the punch and missing or hitting you. And yeah, get my kids, mind's worked look, that kids way. don't do either. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we right. encourage you. We don't condone violence. We're not yeah. condoning or condoning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Explain the rules. No, we just, just <laughs> let you know what the yeah. rules are. Right. Don't try yeah. it. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. that is crazy. That's politics. It's just the politics of it. I mean, because I, I, I can say just for instance, I mean, as a parent, I remember my son was in middle school playing, mm-hmm. and I, I was, it was at Bailey Bridge Middle School. It was in the playoffs. Okay. And it was me and another parent that was up there, and this referee, like, he was, like, just making a lot of call. I think he was maybe new or something. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I could, I don't know who he is, but I can point him out. <laughs> <laughs> if you see him, if you see oh, him in the street, he'll be know, on well, site. I let, know. Let's just yeah, make, yeah, like, yeah, we, we yeah. point him out because all, <laughs> yeah. all the women were calling him yuck mouth. That's just what the women were calling them. Oh, we was like, oh, there he go. Oh, so oh, I, I ain't going to say, you know, what because if I describe it, what he looked like, yeah, I can no, describe no, it. So yeah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. So we were standing up, being another parent was standing up, and we were just like, I was like, man, that was a terrible call. It was a terrible call. And then I would do was standing right beside, so we was kind of like Bubba. He, and then I would do say, "Man, that was terrible. That was terrible." And I was like, I looked at him. I was like, "Man, you wild!" Because he just kept going on right, with right. it. Mm-hmm. So the ref, the ref, but he was hearing our section. Okay. So he turned around, stopped the game. He put me out. 
Because <laughs> he said I was instigating. Wow. Yeah. Larry, Larry, I, Larry, you got put out of a middle school game. Yes. 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 Wow. Yes. And I'm going to tell you, it was crazy. And I looked, I said, that won't me. <laughs> so he stopped the game. And just like, <laughs> I was like, it wasn't me. It, it wasn't me. And I, like I said, I, was, I didn't say terrible. Oh, man, come on, man. You know, yeah. like stuff yeah, like that. It's normal stuff. It's yeah. normal oh, stuff. Yeah. But normal the dude jogging. was like, he was pissed. Like, the dude, he was just like, man, you know. So, of course, I got singled out. So then he told me I had to leave, and I had to go outside. So the principal of the school was like, man, no. That, I, he said, I knew it, won't you? So he said, look, you just stand right here. Remember allow you come back in right and there. just stand in the hallway with me and watch. And he, he watches your son. Right. So I, I was right there, and I was like, so he's gotten better over the years. Okay. But I will say this, because I'm going to go on record <laughs> saying this. This was the <laughs> same referee. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. As I was talking on Mario and Pinky podcast, okay, uh-huh. that made a call that shouldn't have been made, <laughs> and I still say to this day, I'm like, really? <laughs> I, if I tell you which one, y'all gonna do this, so I ain't gonna okay. do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah right, but right, I'm just right. saying, but he refereed that game, and I was like, I got this guy again. So it, it was just like, <laughs> and Larry, wow. can I tell? Can I tell a funny story? I'm refereeing a little league game, mm-hmm. and uh, shout out to my man, Coach Bettis at John Marshall. Yeah, he was. I had my back to him. Mm-hmm. And Bettis, pretty big guy, mm-hmm. loud voice. Ah! I thought he was yelling at me. Oh, yeah. And I yeah. tagged him. <laughs> and I turned around and Bettis said, I was yelling at my kids. <laughs> so we laugh about that back? one till this oh, day. Oh, my God. Did you take it back? I don't think I took it back. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can't rescind on the high school level. Lovely. <laughs> lovely. 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 Hey, that's, yeah. that's my Little guy. Enough, Coach, so shout out to Coach Bettis at John Marshall. Uh-huh. <laughs> shout out to them, man. You know, yeah. they, they took that, um, they lost yesterday. Um, tough one, man. A tough one. Great game, though. Um, yeah, I heard uh, Latrell didn't play. He didn't. That, that's what yeah. I heard, too. Yeah. USA can basketball. I, can, I say USA yeah. can I say something about John yeah. Marshall yeah. basketball? Sure, please. All right. Please. So I know some people who tough. have seen me ref them might think mm. that I don't get along with their coaching staff at all. Now, why would they think that? I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> great staff. Great Definitely. They, Shout out to the job. What Marshall. people don't know <laughs> is if they Amazing. see us out off the court, mm-hmm. right? Everything is all love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But man, the hate that they are getting, I, I feel like it's crazy. Wow. Um, they did a hell of a job with that program and I you know, yeah. I can't you can't take nothing from them. Right. I mean doing their thing right now. Yeah. I feel like I'm Another one of the brain. parents the way that I've had to de- or not had to, but have been defending them and I don't understand where all of this hate is coming from. I don't get it. Um but anyway, I just I, I wanted to say that and um hmm. you know, I have a lot of friends in the coaching realm. I get along with with mm-hmm. the coaches, mm-hmm. but I I am gonna say this uh, for Coach White. Uh, he was a national coach, coach of the White, year. Man. Yeah. Congratulations! And talk, little, talking about little. how we came up in the refereeing mm-hmm. game, I remember when he had what was it, Petersburg Elite. Petersburg yeah. Elite. And yep. I call it. We were refereeing on the Chitlin Circuit out at Fort. <laughs> I'm always yeah. in the Chitlin right. Circuit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And Chitlin you circuit. know he was there with his teams. <laughs> And building mm-hmm. that program, what he oh, has yeah. built. Right. And now everybody sees him here, mm-hmm. but they don't see the work that it took oh. to get that program. I've seen it. And so my respect First level, hand. not just as a coach, mm-hmm. but as a businessman. Stuck mm-hmm. to it. Stuck to it. Man, put a work, man. A yeah. lot of work. And, I mean. and you think about it, you can say this, you can say that. But last I checked, he got the same 24 hours in the day that everybody Bingo. else has, right? Bingo. Bingo. So that, that's all I'm going to say that's about right. that. But. I think as a city, we ought to be proud, like everybody, no whether you're a competitor or what have you, no lifting question. that level, right? Yeah. You should. So, yeah, I love right, it. look, so irrespective of what what we have on the court or what have you, my level of respect is at the utmost, not just as a basketball coach, but also as a businessman. So I just wanted mm-hmm. to put that out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, for me, um, and shout out to Coach White and our coaching staff, man, because – um, they don't get enough credit. No. Um, and I'll say this, and I'm going to piggyback off what Sean um, Sean Pettiford said on the podcast I okay. did with uh, mm-hmm. Passing the Torch with Kanai White and Keetwan Heath. Richmond is the most non-flowers-givenest city <laughs> I've ever I don't been get in. it, man. I mean, 
Well, it, I, I would just say collectively as a state because, I mean, you got people in these groups and out in the, the 75 and 703 and stuff like that. It's just crazy how when John Marshall went in, it's like you celebrated for the whole state. Right. You know, and, yeah. I, and I tell him, I said, and, yeah. and I hope y'all see this, and I'm going to say what I say. You know, when you say, well, Latrell didn't play. When you go into a national, trying to win a national championship, you want all your horses. Yeah. Right. Now, injuries are something different. Right. Right. But if the guy didn't play, that does make a difference. Yeah, he was and the key. He's he was, key. He was key. Definitely. Two point. Two point. It was two point yeah. game. And this guy averaging yeah. double figures. So, no I mean, question. that tells you what it is. But, like, I tell no people, question. like, when I throw it back at them, and I'm going to use you, 757 example. <laughs> Ronald Curry don't play on them football championships. How many championships do they win? Hmm. Zero. Zero. If Tony Rutland or Allen Iverson don't play in that Bethel well, game against John Marshall, who wins that game? <laughs> Zero. Facts. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Let's just call it what it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we don't give John Marshall enough flowers. This man, Ty White, has built a local program from the Petersburg elite and John Marshall, which always had tradition in basketball. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Took it from Long a standing. local oh, program yeah. to yeah. a national name. Long standing. That is not easy to do. At all. No. No. Not same thing with Coach Coach Lauren Johnson over there at Highland Springs. Oh, absolutely. The same yeah. thing. Get, yes. get the hate. Like I said, yeah. I, I just talked to the man the other day for the first time. I don't know him personally. Right. But I just think mm -hmm. for where, why do we hate stuff that when people are winning, why do we hate? I, I can tell you, me, I love going. I don't places. understand. Yeah, and people know about Holland Springs oh, yeah. football, a John Marshall oh, yeah. basketball, longstanding tradition, and we have a large number of talented players that oh, come through God. the Richmond area. Mm -hmm. So I know for me, and I think I can speak for these guys, it yeah. is wonderful when I can turn on the TV and I can see a guy playing at Northwestern, a yep. Robbie Barron, oh, and all yeah, the other yeah, guys exactly. that are playing. Yeah. And you're like, man, I remember reffing them when they were six, seven six, years old. Yep, yep, it, gives me a, it gives yep. me a sense of pride, yeah, right? Yeah. And I know for me, I'm the biggest homer there is. So if you're from Virginia, we, I'm, I'm rooting for you. I'm riding for you. I don't care if you're from Roanoke. I'm riding yeah. for you. And you do that. I'm riding for you. I'm riding for you. And you do that. I'm I'm you. For you. That's, that's why yeah. I say for yeah. me. Yeah. I understand that we're going to rep our areas. I don't care. The area code stuff don't really mean Nah, that. I don't mean nothing to me. Man, I say it just to throw shots back at them because <laughs> they say it to us like, right, oh, right. Know, four boys. Man, I don't care about this. If you from 7-5 and y'all playing yeah. Scott National, I'm rooting for the whole state. Better yes. believe it. No but, question. But some people are just so biased and so small-minded, you know, I'm just like, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about you, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But yeah, but that's just how it is. But I would say shout out to John Marshall. Shout out to yeah. Coach Blackwell because he had to coach um, right. sort of a couple of mm -hmm. games. So shout out to everybody who, who had any type of contribution to this team's success this year. Those young no men question. walking in with suits, mm -hmm. shades oh, on. That's no that dope. I was ready to say awesome. shit, but it was dope. <laughs> awesome. it, it was awesome, man. I mean, they yeah. looked shocked. They went up They went up to, the, the I think, City Hall or somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. the city Council, they was in there. Yeah. They lined up one another, man. Coach White, all the coaches, man. Awesome. Like, we need to applaud that, man. Absolutely. You can hate all you want as yeah. far as them not playing, yeah. man. Absolutely. But let's salute awesome. them for us, awesome. man. Salute them. Shout out to John Marshall, man, for yes, real. Indeed. Big time. You know, so yeah. I know that was a little side note. We went off track. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. It needed to be said. It needed, it needed to be said. said. Man, they don't get yep. enough credit. Yeah. They yeah. don't. Yep. You know? Also, shout out to Paul V from, since we're talking about statewide yeah. love, yep. shout out to Paul V from uh, Fairfax. Paul they in the six. Geico. Yep. Paul Six, they in the oh, Geico yeah. Nationals. Yeah, it's a national one. tournament yeah. as well. So That was a game Shout I wanted to, to see that didn't happen this year. Oh, yeah, we all man. wanted to yeah. see that Top game. Top two in oh, the state. Oh, man. That. Oh. I'm mad at y'all. Y'all didn't make that happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is, oh, this is the thing that's going. This is what's trending now oh, for man. the last couple of weeks. Okay. The guys from Woodside. Okay. They they take them all yeah. like y'all you know John Marshall we played y'all we beat y'all in the fall league well Scrimmage. of course Latrell wasn't there Jason wasn't there and it makes Dixon a difference yeah. but right. they want to claim that as a victory yeah. okay all right wait we'll give you that one how that yeah. same energy next year when y'all do play each other yeah. and if John Marshall win I want y'all have yeah. the same energy that y'all was talking about but they saying oh we will represent the state better we'll beat John Marshall. Okay. Okay. Fine. Hey, feel you how you feel. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. And how many? Yeah. How many games John Marshall won this year? Yeah. What, uh, what, Thirty games. Uh, all yeah. Except that 20, one. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Yeah. 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 Twenty-nine. Say, say what you say. We we all look better. Out of thirty. Right. Yeah. Oh, I can feel that yeah. good. Say, for say, the say, say what you say. Yeah. yeah. So uh, good. Yep. Yeah. Chestnut <laughs> out there. So, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know. But no, this this was good, man. Um, I I this was just really great because. Getting it from a different perspective, because these coaches, they come here and, and I invite them here and some of the players, man, to get just from their perspective. But 
we just never had referee perspective from in any sport, whether you know hockey, track. I mean, mm-hmm. I try to track like referees, but you know, just basketball, football, don't man. This track is, now. No, no, I love Come track. Now. Come on. But, I, right. but, but what I was just saying was, you don't typically have like you know referees right. telling you, you know. Well, yeah. let me let me say this too, Larry. Mm-hmm. I know this is your show. No, man. we talk about giving flowers. We need to give you your flowers. Why you say that, man? You have brought out some stories, yes, particularly in the oh, basketball yeah. realm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. of things that, and and I like to think that I know a lot, but some things that I didn't know about. <laughs> So yeah. you've been able to shine a light and give people their flowers while they can enjoy them. So we want to salute you, my brother. Yeah, sure. thank yeah, you, yeah. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. I, thank you. I'm one, like I told Stacy, I don't know how to take uh, congratulatory messages or stuff like that because yeah. I just always been the person that just gave them. Mm-hmm. So, you know, mm-hmm. I appreciate it. And I just say you're welcome and keep it simple. But um like I said, like I told people at the beginning, this is your podcast. Tim. And I mean yeah. for everybody because I run for you. It's not about me. It's about you guys. Yeah. And for you guys to shed some light on some things and to, like I said, YouTube is going to run forever. So instead of yeah. having like your phones, you can always just go click on a mm-hmm. link <laughs> and just go and watch yeah. this oh, yeah. play yeah. for your Definitely. grandchildren and, and whoever else. That awesome. So that's just how I look at it. Um, I, I wasn't, you know, looking at it so I guess I'll just say thank you. Absolutely. We thank you as well, man. Like I said, you know, when I first bought you the idea, you know, I didn't know you was going to, it was going to come to fruition, but I appreciate you giving us that format because like I said, you get players, you get coaches and different people on your podcast. You never, you know, see too many about referees. So you don't, I think it just sheds that light on the other side of things and the other side of the game that people need to continue to learn and know about. One other thing too, (laughs) Stacey Golden and, and Tree, (laughs) <laughs> give, give a shout out Go to ahead, those guys for, for getting buckets in Richmond Ryan area Ryan. leagues for 30 <laughs> years, <laughs> right? Let me yeah. Yeah. Out there. Shout, out, shout out to Tree. <laughs> Tree and Stacy getting <laughs> buckets in leagues for 30 yeah. years. I still play yeah. twice a week. Shout out to Tree, man. Tree told yeah. me he's my like, guy. Man. He said, I don't know. I, I don't know what Tree would do without basketball. Man, Tree, Tree been getting yeah. buckets forever. Since 1985. I've known Tree since our days in Henderson. In middle school, Gamma yeah. House, you know, that oh, they sent me goodness. to Kennedy. Yeah, they sent me to Kennedy. They said, John Marshall, mom, I'm still mad about that. <laughs> I was so mad about that, you know. But, you know, Tree been playing for years, man. And we used to go play. And I, and I told Stacy, I was like, Stacy, a lot of people, a lot of people don't know. I know a lot of people, I hang okay. with a lot of people, they don't yeah. see me out mm-hmm. per se. But mm-hmm. like I told, like, like people said, you know, Stacy. I said, man, me and Stacy go back to Kings yeah. Dominion. Used to work Kings Dominion back it's in the 90s, 90s, man. Hey, look, 92, if, if 91. Somebody, yeah. If somebody yeah. in the last 20 years tells you that they played in leagues in Richmond <laughs> and they don't know Tree or Stacy, <laughs> yeah. 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 they're not telling yeah. the truth. Yeah. 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 They're not telling I, the truth. I, I go back to with Stacy. Remember, we used to have the basketball tournaments at Kings Dominion. Yeah. You know, up there yeah. Patrick Washington Henry. Yeah. We spent every Fox in the ball. Yeah. Every Fox. Shout out to every Fox. That's the home. I was like, man, Caroline you know, County, that's the homie. Yeah. Right. So like yeah. I told him, I said, man, I said, no, Caroline got some bottles yes, all they the tree. Do. And yeah. we and we used to go to the parties up there, trees would be like, you always want to go to Caroline or go to Caroline. That's a Caroline, man. <laughs> yeah, Caroline. Caroline. <laughs> but real telling you, like I yeah. told you, it's some stories. So it's a lot of people that be like, man, I got some Larry stories for you, because they don't uh-huh. know. Because I've been like, no, but no, me and Stacey have been knowing each other yeah, for years, man. man. And, you know, when he mentioned it to me, I was like, wow. Then he said, no, man, I really like what you're doing. Love it, man. I appreciate you. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, and like I told him, just the connections because, Mm -hmm. you know, like I say, this young lady daughter right here, she's from Caroline. So I told Stacey, it's like, you just never know, you know. Yeah. With everything like that. And Kelvin, like I said, I appreciate you, you know, even taking the interest in, you know, what I was doing. Look, we um, got to give a shout out to Weezy for yeah, connecting shout out us. Yeah, shout out to Weezy, yeah, yeah. Hey, Weezy yeah. B, Wayne Gregory, mm-hmm. my guy, you know. And I'm a, and, and last but not least, we gonna go with shout out Zach, man. Oh, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Zach DB, yeah. Zach is the is, so is the, Zach, Zach the Brody, my name, yes, sir. Zach, Zach. That's the big homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm no talking doubt. about Solid. life, business. Solid. Remember Zach from Solid back in the day. From I know Zach since the Hoskins days. Yeah, I was a little yeah. Lugger yeah. Lamp, you know, walking mm-hmm. up. And, 
you know, up there with Lil Ronnie and Ray Ray and all yeah. of them, yeah. man. You know, yeah. you know, yeah, doing that stuff. That's I, type dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Zach, Zach yeah. is the definition of a good dude. No yeah. question. Yeah. Yeah. Solid. And I think I know him. Yeah. Because he was like I said, he was always the OG and stuff. Mm -hmm. like question. That. Big homie. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So again, no, shout out to all those guys, man. But mm -hmm. um before we get out of here, can we like can you tell people how to get in contact, where they could find how to be able to get information on becoming a referee? Sure. Um, you can go to my, M-Y, C-V-B-O-A, mm -hmm. the letter C-V-B-O-A dot net. And we now, don't have that too. Yeah, my C-V-B-O-A dot net. Mm -hmm. It has the uh, list of how to get in contact with us and get you prepared to take the classes. Mm -hmm. And you can just call me and ask any questions that you have. <laughs> yeah, okay, you got a number you want to put out there? 804-539-2969. Uh, mm -hmm. And we're going to have this at the bottom of the yeah. screen and stuff like this. So we'll show mm -hmm. that, you know, during the episode and stuff like that. So make sure that if you mm -hmm. guys didn't write that down, which some of you probably didn't, yep. you know. But, um, <laughs> you know, we're going to make sure we get it all square. And then right. just so everybody understands, I am looking for basketball officials, but – it's a national shortage yes, in every sport. Big time. Mm -hmm. So if you interested in football, call me. I'll tell you how to get in contact with the guy who does football. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, it ain't, I'm not just here for me. I'm, we need people right. involved in sports. Bad. Yeah. Bad. Yeah, it is bad. Like you said, y'all are doing like, how many games do y'all do a day? Like Man. Night, lately since after COVID. So, oh, you want me to speak on it? Go ahead. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, so I may have <laughs> no. to leave work. Go do a middle school game, circle back, do a mm -hmm. JV game, then do a varsity game, and of course be back at work the next day. All so in one in one, one day. day. One day. Right. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Same yeah. for all of you guys? Yeah, well, pretty much. You not know. as much as they do, because I'm more behind <laughs> yeah, the computer. Yeah, yeah, you bought a scene. He just signed them. If I get to the game, it's because something that happened. Some, uh, wow. So, and you know, we deal with a lot of people, and life happening to all all of them. So some going if something come up. Car messed up, wife did something, or they need to go, you know, yeah. whatever life come up and it's the last minute, sometimes next man up, it might be me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if y'all see Mr. Lewis out there, I'm like, you know what's going on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know something uh -huh. happen. I'm like, man. Right. And one thing I'll tell you, whether it's the middle school game, the JV game, or the varsity game, I get yelled at equally. Like, <laughs> no, no difference in that. <laughs> if you, so, so, I was going to say, if you so. take nothing else from this, guys, a couple things. Everybody that come out there and become an official mm -hmm. are human. Mm -hmm. On, and then we make the same mistakes for just an example of $75 that somebody that's making – Thirty-five hundred, four thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Mm -hmm. The exact same mistakes. Yep. So that's why it's important to just understand. We got people doing a job that takes instant. Wow. Instant response. Yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah, y'all heard it. I mean, understand it. I mean, I, I just being here today just gave me a whole different perspective. So yeah. it gave me some mm -hmm. insight on some things. So. I don't know whether to be quiet now. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, and, and the majority of fans are great. Oh, yeah. Like, the majority yeah. are great. Yeah. Obviously, but, nobody's making us do this. So we, we know what we right. signed up yeah. for. So that's just part of the game. Yeah. We would just ask that, you know, some missed calls or even bad calls. That's also part of the game. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and, you know, that's another podcast for you is, is the re- Definition, I'll say remix of sportsmanship. <laughs> it go from all the way over here to all the way over there. Yeah. Right. Sportsmanship is wide, yeah. wide open. Mm. Yeah. Universal. Yep. And so I, I don't know how to get us back on that same page. Yeah, I can I, tell you, that's there's the, so many remix definitions of sportsmanship. Yeah, don't get me started. It, right, crazy. right, right. Yeah, we yeah. can sit here for another. Yeah, I, yeah, I know that's, that's, that's why I said. That's a different that's show. Yeah. Get, that's just another. Yeah. That's another video. Yeah, for yeah. You. That's yeah. a, a whole other topic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, I yeah. thank all of you guys, man, for coming in here thank today, you, man. man, and for just sure. you know, blessing us today because this was this was good, you know, awesome. Because you know, I just say man i don't know what i'm gonna get them to talk about you know 
but I know we were talking about the recruitment. Oh, yeah. Right. And that's, oh, yeah. And that's what the main mm -hmm. focus was here today. And I said, well, if I got him, I'm going to ask him some questions. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Delvin mm -hmm. and Stacey, y'all did a fantastic job thank also. You. Thank you. Just breaking stuff down, man. Yeah. And Stacey, again, thank you for you, man. Yeah, thank you, brother. You. Thank you. Because um, a lot of people say, you know what, well, man, you know, you don't want to. People, I, mean, I get people in my inbox all the time. <laughs> yeah. You know what I do now? I send them a temp. It's that. Yeah. And if they say it's good, you know, good. But all the time, I just try to, you know, deal with the record. But I get a lot yeah. of crazy stuff, man. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Don't feel bad if I don't try to DM y'all back right away. Because I get a lot of, man, I'll show y'all my DM right now. It just be crazy yeah. stuff. I'll be like, what? That's, yeah. that's what growth cool. brings, man. Right. Growth yeah. brings all type of and crazy I, and ideas I appreciate and opportunities. The love, man. Yeah. Some people just want to get on here and just talk. And I'm just like, this is not yeah. what it's all about. Right, right. right. You know, be substantial. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. You got to yeah. have some type of substance. Come yeah, on now. Definitely. But um, yeah, but we're going to get up out here and um, and just make sure that everybody likes, subscribe, you know, yes. and, and please, please leave some comments. <laughs> God, well, I don't care if it's bad. This thing is something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I can take it. If I can take the, you know, I can take the criticism. That's why I can take the praise. But please, just sure. make sure y'all like, subscribe, more. Said Media Ball and VA Podcast. Mm -hmm. Give these gentlemen, you know, or, you know, just some some praise when y'all see them out there, yeah. out there. And y'all have some questions, just ask them. You mm -hmm. know, sure. stuff like that. They, these guys are open. You no, know, they can't do it during the game, but maybe before the game or after the game, you guys can definitely, you know, no check them out. Mm -hmm. So for Ball and the VA. From Mr. Kelvin, from Allen, from Stacy, <laughs> and my man Dr. Dre over here. <laughs> you know, sure. Timmy Tonka, we are out. Yeah.